Hi, Kristen McConnell here, and today we're going to do another quick DIY project. So if you remember the light that I had in my bathroom remodel, I'm going to turn that light into a flower box. I've been wanting a flower box um, in front of this window over here, which you can't see, but it's on the other side of there. Um, and I was looking around the property to see what kind of stuff I could do, like what kind of material I had around here, because I didn't want to just go buy one. I want to save some money, but also, you know, I want it to look nice. And when we were doing the bathroom remodel, took down the light. Actually, it was even before we took down the light. I noticed that the top was just hollow and it was the box. And it's like perfect. So let me show you what it is. And I'm going to stain it. And then I think I'm just going to throw it up. I have to take down all the, the stuff that was for the light. But that's easy. I'm going to do that. Maybe stain it. Put some soil in there. And I got some flowers today at on clearance so cheap there so this whole project is going to be really affordable okay let me get you show you what it is all right here is the flower box here's maggie <laughs> so see this was just a box and they just had the light bulbs screwed on the outside here um the one side fell off while i was taking it outside actually today hi maggie I'm just gonna um, quickly hammer some nails in there, keep it together, and yeah, maybe stain it. I have to take out that stuff and then obviously clean it. It's pretty dusty, um, but I should be pretty easy to take these wires out. I think it's gonna be cool. I have one first layout. I have just a little bit left. So what I've been doing is just taking this. They've been like heavily like glued with like, I don't know. So I'm just kind of going around and then just kind of pulling it out. Oops, I need to show you. So I'm just gonna curve it around. It's gonna take a little bit. I'm probably not gonna be, get it as perfect because really I'm just putting soil in here. Probably gonna keep this black like that. It is gonna have a hole in it. So I was debating about just leaving them in there and I was going to, and then I started cutting the wire and it came out. So I'll probably take them out just so they're all even and maybe just patch something right there. I don't know, make it easy, easy. Doesn't have to be perfect. Hammering it out. There we go. <laughs> One more to go. That's pretty cool. And then I think after I hammer this side back in, I might just try and install it onto the house and then um, stain it after that. Get it going. All right, hi. Here is the before. I have it up there. Now, just time to plant. Project complete. I'm so excited. And I love that we just recycled our old light. It actually works perfect for a planter. And these holes, I'm not gonna fill them up because there'll be extra drainage. I love it. And like I said earlier, I got these flowers on clearance. And they're also perennials, which I recommend doing perennials because then they just come up year after year. Annuals are absolutely beautiful, but they just die at the end of the season. So these just come back. It's a little bit more cost effective. I am just so excited how this turned out. And like I said, I love that it's recycled. We don't need to just waste. We don't need to waste money. We don't need to re waste resources. It looks beautiful. I'm so excited. I've been wanting this for a long time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you soon.